Hi all and welcome back to my very first let's play of oh, the very first Siberia. GOG version enhanced and all good things. We are still in Arlbot Spa Resort but we I think we're done here and we are about to head back outside to the airship. But before we do that, I just wanted to say that if you are enjoying the channel or the game and video, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Now, I think we are very done here. So, um, we can, no, that's, that's not what I want. Okay. Stop getting confused in this bath. Okay, I'm just going every direction that is wrong right now. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's more like it. Okay, let's head back to the airship and see if Helena is there. It sounded like she was going there. Goodbye, cranky sir. Well, he at least made this look pretty again. That is so beautiful. It is indeed. And yeah, we cannot. <laughs> Would have been a, a petty way to say goodbye to mess that up again. But yeah, I guess we cannot do that. Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs, then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, <laughs> tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that Romansky chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question, that's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I, I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. <laughs> Dan! What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation, I... What? After the Goldberg, Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap, and then... Okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I, Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Look, don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's, it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? Kate, please! I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own.
But let's face it, we all knew that he was a really crazy lunatic and he would do something like that. Also, yeah, Olivia and Dan, they really deserve each other. Bunch of uh, fakey people. And anyway, we need to do something about this. I feel kind of bad for bringing him here. Help me. What is happening? What does this man want of me? He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there, and I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. Can she, though? I mean, let's face it. This is kind of our fault. But we have... Metal Shears. I said we have metal shears. Oh, at last, young lady. I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry. Get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Okay, so she is very slowly making her way out of here. Oh, do we still have that? Nice, we already have everything we need. That's awesome. Oscar's hands. Thank you, you were great. I mean, that concert was pretty great, but... Also a bit on the mad maniac side of things. Okay. So now, we need to get out of here. Are you alright, madam? My heart has been put to the test here. But it just might hold up. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. God, what has happened now? Aha! Nice try, Miss Walker. But you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me. And bring Madame Romansky back. Or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. 
I warned you, Kate Walker. I warned you. Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. Okay. But it was the we came down through another elevator, right? Uh, but it wasn't there. Okay. Well, that felt unnecessary, but I think we'll just return to the other elevator and, and go from there. Okay, let's... Um, where was it, though? Yeah, it's it's been a while since we were in... Uh, wasn't up here, right? This was his little room. And I would... Is he still in there? Crazy. It seems this monorail is controlled from somewhere else. Okay. At least now we know he's in there and he's he's crazy. Yeah. Oh, this is the other elevator, right? Yeah. Nothing new here. That's new. Okay, so he, well, we knew he was crazy, but he's incredibly crazy. Oh, we ran all the way back. So I, I do notice that that, wow, devastation. So that vent is open now, this one. So I guess out we go then. Sweet freedom. You know what? Let's grab some dynamites and blow him the hell up. Oh, really? <laughs> I was kind of joking around, but... Sure. We Okay, we get dynamites. Let's see. Time to help Oscar. Let's give him a hand. What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. That is a bit of a concern. 
Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Yes, we will get right on top of that. Is he still hanging out in the, in the bedroom area? No? Okay, where are you, Oscar? Also, I have to. No point weighing myself down. Right, you are, Kate. So that's never gonna happen. Okay, where are you, Oscar? Is he uh, at the front of the train? Oh, there you are. Oscar, I'm back. Let's get out of here. What a pleasure it is to see you again, Kate Walker. Please take your seat with Miss Helena in the carriage. She simply is a charming lady. She helped me screw my hands back on. I must inform you, though, that regulations make no provision for supplementary passengers. I hope that you still have your ticket for Arrowbad. Oscar! Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent. Nice. Oh, and also, she helped him with the hands. That is very, very good news. Message received and understood, Kate Walker. Departure imminent. All right. I think we already fixed the train, so are we good to go? Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Are you alright? I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess... It's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Real proud. Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize you. Oh, it doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, other than that, nothing new. I see. Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. Nothing to say? I'm so sorry, I... I I don't know what came over me. It, it happened so quickly. I just totally lost control. I was so weak, so dumb. I just can't imagine how... I just can't... I can't imagine how you could ever forgive me. What a bastard I've been. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere in all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. What's happening to us, Kate? Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back if you want. I don't know, Dan. We'll see. Let's make sure that we do not see. Let's never talk to him again. Uh, okay. We have ourselves a bit of a problem. Do we not? Okay.
Oscar, let's get the hell out of here. Sorry for all the trouble, Helena. That was pretty awesome, though. And uh, screw those guys in compost grad. Well, not the drunken soldier. He was he was all right. But Mr. Madcap, eh, I don't feel too bad about leaving him in a pickle. Hey, what's happened to the, the fountain? Let's see if he has anything new to say. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? Well, I'm gonna hit the road again. But would it be too much to ask where you're going? Who can say? Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, Jose. This might seem a little indiscreet, but I think that Hans Varlberg stayed here once, and I'd like to know if you've heard anything from him since. It's not house policy to talk about the comings and goings of its clientele, but I will say that I have indeed not had the pleasure of doing dealings with Mr. Varlberg since he left the hotel a long, long time ago. I never thought that I'd travel so far away from home. You're still young, ma'am. Open those big brown eyes of yours and see the world. My eyes have never been so open, Mr. Felix. Goodbye, Mr. Felix. You haven't changed your mind, then. I could do you a good deal on the royal suite. Thanks very much, but I really must be going. Okay, so nothing new there, and we were talking about leaving, so maybe we were a bit hasty and we should have talked to Oscar. He might be at the front of the train. Ah, yes, yes indeed. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice, warm train. Get a life, Oscar. You know something, Oscar? Despite all our mishaps, and your grating personality, I think I'm gonna miss you. Why? Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? 
Yes. When I found Hans Varlberg, I'm going to have to go home to New York. That's your decision, Kate Walker. Oscar, can we get going now? Really, Kate Walker? First, we have to wind up the train's mechanism. Of course. What was I thinking of? Right away, I'm on the case. Oscar, the wind has dropped. Maybe you can come with me. Kate Walker, a high-precision mechanism like myself has a built-in aversion to sub-zero temperatures. You know, Oscar, sometimes I think we'll never find Hans Varlberg. You have manifested a certain spunk and perseverance, Kate Walker. Please do not be discouraged. It's possible you are closer to your initial target than you currently imagine. Yeah, maybe. I hope the train wasn't damaged in the explosion. Do not worry, Kate Walker. I checked that everything was in order. You really do think of everything, Oscar. I do not think of water sports, Kate Walker. All right. Good knowledge. The weather has changed since my last visit. The wind has dropped, and it has started snowing a little. I was not fortunate enough to accompany you on your first visit, Kate Walker. You abandoned me to who knows what horrible fate in that creepy factory. Oscar, do you know something? You're changing. You might not notice, but you are. Change is outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. Not so sure about that. See you around, Oscar. I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. Okay, let's do the practical, tactical stuff. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Uh, give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. Alright, we will indeed go and get that package in the next part. Thank you for following along in my Siberia adventure. I hope you had as much fun as I had. If you did, I would love to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.